If you've recently watched the news or followed local and world health and well-being debates, chances are you've come across the controversial topic of self-medications and their long-term effects on our health. But have you ever paused to think why the number of people relying on medical drugs is skyrocketing? What about health implications of self-medicating? Hello amazing people, Takira Mwashi here, a warm welcome to my channel, a place where future leaders come to get inspired. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. In this video, I will share with you super skills on how to write an effective cause and effect essay based on Robin Serra's Medicating Ourselves extract. I will also demonstrate an example of an opening paragraph for this type of essay. If you need more detail or explanation on the rest of the essay, please DM me using the link below. This tutorial has been broken into six mini lessons focusing on question one of assignment 02, unique number 7165. 716252. Without any further delay, let's get straight to the assignment. As already mentioned, this is your Medicating Ourselves extract by Robin Sarah. Your to read task is as follows It is hard to pick up a magazine these days without finding an article attacking or defending some pharmaceutical remedy for syndromes of syndromes of mood or behavior. These drugs are in vogue because they've shown themselves spectacularly effective for a range of conditions. Though their exact workings are not well understood and their long term effects are not known. Yet for all the noise we continue to hear about, say Ritalin for children with Attention deficit disorders and related learning or behavior problems or Prozac and the new family of antidepressants prescribed to the stressed and distressed of all ages. The real debate on pharmaceuticals has yet to begin. This extract was taken from page 300 to 303 of your tutorial letter. The actual assignment question is based on the above extract and some of the research that you have also conducted. Write an essay in which you discuss three negative effects of using drugs for mood or behavior syndromes. Note that this is a cause and effect essay. I've highlighted some key phrases and a word for your own attention so that you look out for this as you read more more importantly at the bottom the actual assignment I've highlighted the command words you need to focus on the assignment is actually asking you here or demanding that you use the extract above and of course you are expected to do some research on the cause and effects of uh, self-medication and then you write an essay where you actually discuss so you are going to be looking at the pros and the cons of using drugs or self-medicating right let's go to the next i've included seven ways you can actually plan your argument when you write an essay first one there is you need to think about the topic you've been given work out what you think you brainstorm the ideas both for and against the view you have taken decide which points you want to make and the order in which you want to make them develop your ideas on each point decide on the evidence that you will give to support your ideas and your argument with an effective conclusion. This seven ways or seven skills 
how to help you structure your assignment and in the next slide I'll show you how we go about doing that as you can see you actually need a plan for your essay so that is properly written so this is a plan for cause and effect essay it has an introduction in your introduction you actually have brief strong point of view that is your topic sentence or your thesis statement a statement that is punchy strong very forceful capturing for the reader then in your body you're going to have a couple of paragraphs paragraph one you can have a statement and you give a reason for the point of view, point of view in that paragraph you would obviously be discussing or expanding what you said in your thesis statement paragraph two you do the same thing you give a second statement or premise if you like and provide supporting reason for your own point of view you carry on you link that with linking words you go on to paragraph three you look at your that statement even there you also provide a reason for your point of view but also include what we refer to as a counter argument it sort of like changes the direction of your argument but at the same time it strengthens your point of view so it's always something to remember when you're actually um, writing about something as controversial as this topic on self-medicating or any assignment that will ask you to argue for and against and then in your conclusion of course you state why you think you say your point of view is right and please do not forget to include references whatever it is that you're going to be arguing or discussing you need to back it up with evidence of your research correct names and dates and then the actual references where you found them if it's from credible sources on the internet you need to show that and when you actually access that information if it's a book you also need to be able to use the Harvard system which you will find in your tutorial letter right let's go then next to another in this slide I've given you examples of the issues that we're dealing with we are looking at causes and causes are reasons that make people take action to self-medicate in a way sort of benefits of self-medicating are given two examples there of or reasons why they do so or why people might do so they don't need to have an appointment so it's quite convenient because they don't have to stand in a queue and wait for days or hours whatever the case may be and also it's a cheaper option especially considering that in certain countries you have to have a doctor who actually prescribes your medication for you and you have to pay for the services on the flip side the effects are the consequences overdosage is one of them addiction and of course the last one there that certain drugs do lead or are linked to suicidal tendencies and in this last slide i have given you an example of what i would refer to as an opening paragraph the rationale behind here behind this is to for you to capture the reader's interest and uh, make your point in other words tell the reader what you are going to be arguing which point of view you're going to be arguing from in recent years the number of people having access to over-the-counter medications has more than doubled but their long-term effects have provoked a good deal of criticism 
from various members of the public. However, I would argue that much of this criticism is unjustified and that we should accept that no medication is without side effects. I will not go beyond this, as I said earlier and um, reminded, but if you need um, more detail, you know, information on how to progress with the assignment and get, you know, develop the argument further, that is, you can always DM me. I'll leave a link down below for you to do so. And I think this is going to be very helpful for your revision in any way or shape or form when you do come across an assignment like this. It's good to have an idea of what is actually expected and how actually you develop your argument. So thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.